What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sun and my name is Shanks and today we are playing a 2v2 match on the most famous 2v2 map Anorian in battle for middle of 1 on the patch 2.22 everybody is as usually picking random but this time we will get to play with the Mordor faction and as Gothmog would like to say the age of man is over the age of the orc has come okay so Mordor got the combination quite nice and orc pit opening as usually and in this situation we will be skipping the golem because in, when you play mordor on this map and your ally is a good faction like gondor or rohan you want to actually capture three settlements and when you pick up golem at the beginning of the game that's gonna delay a little bit for that reason let's skip him so we can get those three lumber mills up on the field a bit faster okay nice soon nice soon nice soon we need to keep getting more you know orcs not uruks <laughs> This is no rubble of mindless Uruks, these are orcs, they have no shields, they have no armor, but they are still hitting like a truck, kinda, and they have actually lots of leadership. So we have a Rohan opponent, um, and I don't know the other guy, I think the other guy was actually evil, so they might be Rohan Mordor or Rohan Isengard, we shall see very soon, and let's keep recruiting more in oh, Uruks. So it's actually pretty nice, so we have a mordor Gondor combination against Rohan Isengard. It means in this 2v2 match, every single faction, all the four factions of the battle for Middle-earth 1 are actually included, which is pretty nice. I think I'm gonna be forced to use I. I think the opponent team made a mistake, they should be grouping up all together and then using war oh, okay, never mind, they, they're gonna do this, they're gonna do this actually. Um, but luckily, we actually were able to get already one slaughterhouse up on the field. That's very important. When you get a rush like this, it's very important that you fill your base up with slaughterhouses as long as you have the food bonus for cheaper buildings. And now, as we have three lumber mills, we get like 20% discount, which is pretty good to get those buildings up on the field way, way cheaper. Uh, you know, especially early game, that's very efficient. Be ready! Hide down, you maggots! Come on! I mean, we are not able to kill this mill, but what we are able to do is we are able to kill lots of lumber mill workers, which also will hurt the economy from Isengard quite a lot. So, one thing I need to mention is if you know that you cannot take down the enemy lumber mill, what you need to do and what you have to do, try at least, is to kill as many workers as you potentially can. It means even if he replaces them, he needs to pay 25 resources for every single one of them. But it's not a good start, we actually lost every single settlement outside, but luckily we have a couple of slaughterhouses inside the bees. That's not too bad. Okay, we have also Gollum, and what we can do with Gollum later on, once we are done with defending, we can also go for creeping action. More and more orcs. Orcs all day, all night. Put them to work. Okay, we are in a good spot, I would say. We are in a very, very good spot. Even if we lose this mill, it's not a big deal. I mean, we have a good eco inside the castle, that's what matters the most. Look at our base, boys. We have almost a full base, and you need to be on point. You don't want to be cash looting, especially with factions like Isengard and Mordor. Every single matters. Every single second matters. It's like a tempo game, and you gotta keep up the tempo as high as you potentially can in order to dominate your games. Because Mordor is a scaling faction, later on we will have eventually the chance to recruit Nazgûl, Witch King, Trolls, Drummer Trolls and eventually even Mumu Kills. And for that reason we need to make sure that our early game is as good as it's possibly as it possibly can be to get to the mid to late game power spike way way sooner. Okay, now we are done defending, but we can now do with all these orcs, um, we can actually creep the war layer and get even more money. We need a troll cage up on the field, ASAP. Just, you know, just so we can defend our males against the Rohirrim from the Rohan player, in long terms. The good thing is, when you play against Rohan Isengard, you know that they have no access to our early land. It means Isengard need two power points after the war chant, that also means that he will have to skip the industry, and Rohan also needs two power points after the heal. It means we can abuse the fact and actually spam lands everywhere. What we can do now is we can place a land. Um, we don't need to place it here, I would say. We can still creep this. Uh, let's see if we can get the money. Please! 
Yes, you ain't stealing any from anything from me, Rohan. Look this guy, the robbery. He was trying to go for it, but hell no, brother. Hell no. And we can actually use the land in between the farms on the opposite side of the map. But first of all, we gotta make sure to not lose too much. We need to... We can use... Um, I also on the ally, but he's not fighting, or he's fighting now. We can move the Eye of Sauron, and boom. It's a perfect placement, because our ally might actually fight on this spot for a long duration later on. And remember the Tainted Land, or the, you know, any land actually in the game, doesn't only give additional armor bonus to the allied units, but also gives them the chance, I mean, it negates all the leadership bonuses from the opening player. It means, for example, you use Warchan on the Uruks, and you fight on the enemy land, your Uruks have no Warchan active as long as you fight on the opening land. We need more mountain trolls. And guys, dude, Mordor will have a lot of changes in the upcoming version of the patch 2.22 and in the upcoming version of the patch 2.22 also the campaign changes will be implemented. So if you don't know, um, we are reworking the entire good campaign for the battle for middle of one. We are almost done with it. Before we want to release it, we want to test and make sure that everything is working perfectly fine. So you don't need to run into any trouble or errors during playing it. And uh, Mordor will also receiving lots of quality of life changes, but also major balance changes in the upcoming version. And also lots of visual changes. For example, the heroes, they will have a glow animation when they level up. Uh, Gondor heroes will glow, you know, blue. Rohan heroes will glow green. Isengard heroes will glow red. And Mordor heroes, I mean, they cannot level up. <laughs> That's the thing. Because Gollum cannot level up, and the Nazgûls and the Witch King, they can't level up either because they come out on the field by being level 10. So they don't need a glow animation for leveling up. And also units will have a special glow animation depending on the faction. Uh, you know, for each faction, an individual color for the glow. I think it's gonna look pretty nice. And again, if you have any feedback or any recommendations, but also it could be implemented into the patch. You can let me know in the comment section down below. Or you can join our Discord. There is a feedback channel. And it's much, much easier to communicate. The link for the Discord you can also find in the description down below. Oh my goodness, this troll is actually punch punching me on the ground. Oh, there is a lord. Oh boy. Dude. What? I mean, I'm your bread. The cave troll is going nuts on me. Cave troll, stop it. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Overkill Elma. El you know, Elma was actually spear throwing our already dead, mo you know, mountain troll. That's bad. We actually leashed for him, you know. We helped him to secure the creep for himself. That's unfortunate. And uh, you know, this matchup um, is pretty good for both the sides. However, the longer the game goes on, it's gonna be better for the Rohan Isengard team. Why? Because they will have an insane amount of leadership bonuses from Aragorn, Theorian, Lords, and Warchant. And on top of that, with the freezing rain ability from the Isengard faction, he can shut down all our leadership bonuses. Uh, which make, which is the necessary part to make the mountain trolls and everything that we own, but also everything that our ally owns, much, much stronger. So we gotta finish this game in the mid game without trying to get into the late game in which Isengard can shut us down completely. To be honest, I don't know if this is a smart move or not, because we are actually losing a lot of trolls. <laughs> if, we can, if I can somehow kill Lourdes, it's gonna be quite nice. But yeah, okay. It's not the end of the world, but I will also eventually lose this troll over there <laughs> to the you know, to the Eoma. So running away is not an option, because Rohirrim and mounted heroes are just way, way faster. I think at this point of the game, we need to kind of try to save for the, for the Nazgul, or even better, for the Witch King. Because with the Witch King, we can kill all the pikemen from the Isengard player and also provide enough utility and leadership bonuses to the Gondor Knights of our ally. Eat! Eat! This was a fun interaction. Did you guys see this? He killed me. Dude, did nobody teach you, Rohan, that you don't touch anybody who is eating, who has just meat back on the menu, boys? This Rohan has no manners, guys. I'm telling you. You don't touch anybody who's drinking, you don't touch anybody who's eating. That's the golden rule. You will pay for this, Rohan. I will smash the Rita Mark down. I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the manner is actually good. You know, that's very important. Don't touch anybody who's eating or drinking. Very important. Life lessons. 
Besides entertainment, besides gameplay, you can also have some life lessons on this channel. And if you enjoy this channel, guys, please don't forget to leave a like. Likes cost you nothing but two seconds of your time. But it's quite helpful for the YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate it if we can actually get a lot of likes on this video. And also subscribe if you haven't already to the channel to not miss any of the future uploads. Because, you know, we have some good stuff cooking in the pipeline for the channel beside gameplay. I'm actually, you know, it's kind of time consuming, but hopefully I will get it done very soon. Because we are, you know, still busy currently with the patch. But I want to also make updated guides for the factions for each faction of the patch 2.22. And then also in, in the near future, it's going to be an interesting concept in which I will be playing with a viewer of mine on Twitch and I will coach him. Oh, Eoma, dude. Actually, Eoma is very good in this current meta, guys, because he's now leveling up way, way faster. And so getting Eoma on the field is very important. Oh, there is Lourdes back on the menu, boys. He's level 3, but we have almost the money for the Witch King. I mean, I'm waiting for it. Um, because I think Witch King is an extremely important hero. But keep in mind that Isengard and Rohan have many, many ways to burst him down. If you don't know the cripple ability from the Lourdes, actually chunks Witch King a lot. Um, but keep in mind that flying heroes cannot be crippled. So you cannot stop them from flying. You know what I'm saying? So Witch King on the way to support the ally. Come on, Witch King. No man can kill me. Okay. I mean, keep spamming Oryx. There is absolutely no reason for stopping spamming Oryx. Because Oryx, they will give you lots of power points in long terms. That means the more Oryx we lose, the more power points we will be passively gaining. Which will be obviously helpful to reach the power spike of the, of the darkness later on. And also, Mordor got a couple of adjustments. So we reduced the amount of power points you need for the for the scavenger from four Do to three. Oh my goodness, which can you scared me? We reduced the amount of power points you need for, for for the scavenger from four to three, but we increased the power points you need for the darkness from six to seven. So basically, in the current version of the patch 2.22, every Veta ability. Uh, you know, meet dark, meet be darkness, freezing rain, or cloud break. Every one of them is gonna cost seven power points, which was already the case for the good factions like Gondor and Rohan. But evil factions would have the chance to get freezing rain and darkness with six power points only. Now they also require seven power points, just like the good factions. Okay, let's kill the pikeman now. And oh, there is a combo, but they have no fear resistance. I'm actually, uh, you know, you can also in the patch 2.22 use the industry on your ally, but our money is not looking good. That's why we're gonna keep it for ourselves. Boom, son. <laughs> Level 2 ain't help you. Okay, we need to be deal. There is an Eowyn, Witch King, fly away. I am no man moment, just like in the films. I cannot even be mad about it. <laughs> but I'm mad about it. Because Witch King, reviving Nazgûs and Witch King, yes, is for free, but... It's a lot of, you know, it's time consuming. You need to invest lots of time for that. And that's gonna give like a cooldown window for the opening team to now punish us for that. So if they want to go for an attack, we have no Witch King anytime soon back on the field. So Mordor is so unique. Out of all the, you know, four factions, Mordor is standing out the most because of the unique gameplay. Like you have no access to leadership, uh, to see it. Upgrades. You cannot buy heavy armor, forge blade on this faction. That's not possible. But it's a faction that is built up on the on, on the monsters, like trolls, moment kills, but also on a massive amount of leadership. It's very different. But I've been asked, you know, I got asked the question many, many times, yeah, but Chang's, why we don't add like heavy armor forge blade for the Mordor? Uh, simply because that would change the entire faction. And if we would do that, we need to lower the entire leadership bonuses from the Mordor faction. So Mordor has to go in a rework if we decide to add upgrades for the faction. And what do you guys think about that? Would you guys like to see a rework for the Mordor faction? Would you guys like to see upgraded orcs, you know, but less leadership? Would you like to see a different and brand new Mordor? Please let me know in the comment section down below, because once again, we are not doing this patch for ourselves. We are actually doing it for you guys. 
they are trying to make it as fun as it potentially can be. It's a very old game. We have a lot of limitations, but I think we are doing a phenomenal job as a team. Not only balance-wise, but also animations, graphics, the rework for the campaign. First of all, the good campaign. Later on, in a few months, we will also be hopefully done with the evil campaign. So, if you decide a couple of years, you know, if you miss a game, I think you need to agree with me on this one. If you take a break from it, it's okay, but it will kind of be in your memory all the time. Wait, should I see for enough? No, you don't need to. Make combos, you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, Beef Me will be in your memory all the time. And eventually, even if you don't play it for like a couple of years, it will get in your head and you will reinstall the game and play it again. At least the campaign. And when this happens, I want you guys to enjoy the campaign more than ever. That's why we are working on the campaign. Which is obviously you know, time consuming like crazy. I mean, guys, let me tell you, like 200 hours is nothing. Because not only uh, the campaign has to be done, which is made by Barindru, but also lots of testing. You know, we need to test everything if it's working. We have also a couple of testers, luckily for us, who are also helping us out a lot. It's a teamwork, but again, it's time consuming. And hopefully, I mean, you guys will enjoy it. Then it's worth it, you know? Okay, so we have two more kills and four throws. Let's go for a fight, shall we? They are not here for waiting. We need one more Mooma kill. I mean, they are not planning to attack us. They are actually doing a good job defending, but they are not attacking. So with defending all alone, you cannot win. I mean, he has lots of Rohirrim on the field now, even Rohirrim archers. Our Witch King can't really approach this because the Witch King will get chunked instantly from the Eowyn. Eowyn deals insane amount of damage to the Witch King just to make it like, you know, like in the films. Look at those orc hordes. To be honest, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, guys. <laughs> because the look at this, the Ritter Mark. Go go trolls. Oh, there is some we need to kill this Saruman somehow. Can I please kill? Holy guacamole, guys! Did he really steal all my trolls? Besides one single troll he left me, he stole everything else. And now when the charge attack is on cooldown, our Muma kills can't do anything. I just killed all my trolls myself, by the way. Holy moly, guys. Uh, oh, go crazy, Muma kill. Go crazy, Muma kill. <laughs> Look, the Muma kill is killing our own Gondonites. That's unbelievable. But I like this animation. Oh, Lutz. <laughs> Let's go. Lutz. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Let's use darkness for the Gondonites of our ally. And support him also with the, you know, leadership witch king, uh, leadership from the witch king. I can't even talk. Like, lots of fiesta is happening right now. Our trolls are running it down. The drummer troll doesn't give any leadership bonuses to the cavalry. So that means even when we keep them close to the Gundam Knights, it's not going to change anything. But what we can try to do is we can actually try to knock down the Rohirrim archers. Where is Eowyn though? I don't see Eowyn. Witch king fly. Oh, Eowyn is the Please, 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 please. This Isinger is focusing our Witch King with the towers. And Witch King, do it. My Witch King macro today is actually horrible. It's tilting me. What am I doing? Oh my goodness, that's big L for us, boys. Horrible. <laughs> Dude, I lost everything, man. The, the Saruman, did you guys see what he did? He stole our entire army. I mean, basically all our force, the damage force, the, the trolls. I could have played this a bit better. I mean, I couldn't play this any worse, but I could have played this much, much better. Let's use Industry now on our ally to demonstrate to you guys the effect of the... You see that? The blacksmiths in the farms are now glowing just like they would do on a, on a furnace in a slaughterhouse. We don't need money because, again, we can revive Witch King for free. And now we need a bit more Mooma kills. I want to have actually like three, four Mooma kills at PR minimum. And then I want to charge individually, you know. Like, you need to charge one by one. So you need to click one on one of your Mooma kills, charge this. The second, charge that. The third, charge this. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to charge with all of them the same location. It's kind of pointless. So, unfortunately, we cannot really move out. Because we have seen what happens with Witch King. Can you imagine without Witch King? Our, you know, units would die in a second. Mooma kills are just too vulnerable against fire damage. But if you have multiple of them... And the opening team is giving us actually lots of time for this. Um, if you have multiple of them, it's actually pretty good, you know? 
because they need to burst them down and when it comes to burst down units you need to do that one by one so you need to kill one guy and then focus down the second guy but by while doing this obviously you know um, i have other movement kills who can charge you down so you need to micro around try to you know kite around the movement kills try to disengage so basically play around the charge attack because without charge attack the movement kills are just too slow the combos can easily get away from them okay boys so four movement kills i think that's a good number we have also now the drama troll sporting the you know allied you know condo combos to make them a bit stronger i think four movement kills are enough shall, shall we go in boys shall we go inside the jeans now that's the question i mean darkness is not available yet so ideally in a, in a perfect world we should be waiting for it because the opponent has now lots of units i think he has even glorious charge now unlocked from the from theorian king look at them glowing shining bright like a diamond and they can also have the war chant to make them deal even more damage and more tanky even though tankiness doesn't matter because mumma kill doesn't care about your tankiness mumma kill steps on you and you are gone you are just gone in a single second so that doesn't matter anything okay which king is back i think oh oh my ally is splitting his combos is a mistake stay group stay grouped stay grouped boromir boromir be careful boromir boromir you tend to die always in every single film you play this actor by the way in game of everywhere like i i mean the only film he didn't die at actually was troy you know troy guys with achilles and also like prince hector it was also an amazing film don't you agree with me i used to like this a lot i was cheering for prince hector though I was so sad when he got killed. Okay, now it's time to rock and roll, boys. Now it's time to rock and roll. One of the moment kills is level 2 because the moment kills, the second the moment kill pen is level 3, coming out level 2, that's only specifically designed for the moment kill pen. There is no other building that can do that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my, this looks like in the film. Go! Oh, moment kills, yeah! We charged them down. We killed everything from the Rohan faction. Did you guys see this? You can't make this up. That's what I do. That's what I do, boys. Holy quacamole. Yeah, be defeated. Be gone. Leave the game. It's over for you guys. It's over. You can't make this up. Just like in the films, the Rohirrim are coming and they are being food for the Mumma kills. And now, the only way you can deal with them is actually summoning Aragorn, Legolas, and also Gimli with the Offbreakers. GG's gonna be cold. I think that was a phenomenal charge. <laughs> Holy moly, guys. Do you see Mumma kill level 5? Let's go inside the jeans. Let's finish this game, shall we? Holy moly, boys. There was, a, there was a crazy moment, dude. What the heck? Now, we can also send one of them to the Rohan base and start also opening like a like a portal to the base of the Rohan. Because remember what he did. He was killing our troll while he was eating. And I told you guys, we will make him pay for that. I'm a man. I hold my promises. Look, Lourdes. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, he's playing it. Oh, one more, one more. Oh, Mumma kill, you, are, you stupid Mumma kill. Dude, they are so thick that, you know, they cannot fit in between this, you know, Orfang in the Furnace level 3. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, but he's like in Matrix, you know, Neo. Dodging all the bullets. Slippery, yeah. Dodging all the bullets. He's dodging all the bullets. Dodge this. Look out, dude. Actually, our Mumma kills, they are dying to the Furnace level 3. Go, go, Mumma kill, please. You know, take down this wall. Mumma kills are very vulnerable if they have no leadership, but keep in mind that Drama Troll doesn't provide them leadership either. So the only leadership you can get for the Mumma kills is Darkness or and you know Witch King. But again, even with this much leadership, they will die against fire arrows because they are taking just like crazy amount of damage from fire. This guy is fighting until the very end. I like that. And the second I say that, he's demolishing everything. <laughs> okay. Look, the Witch King, dude. 
Okay, Matthias has been defeated. GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.